In this video, we demonstrate the relevance of citizen-consumer co-creation processes in realizing inclusive urban food systems. We do this with a focus on the challenge of ensuring food safety in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. Access to safe and healthy food is a fundamental element of food security. However, over the past decades, food consumption in Hanoi has been far from worry-free and shifted from concerns about having enough to eat to concerns about whether the food is safe to eat. So what is going on? Urbanization and particularly the development of agricultural land into residential and industrial zones leaves less land available for food production. This puts pressure on the productivity of the smallholder farming system, driving the use of agrochemical inputs such as fertilizers, pesticides and preservatives. The often inappropriate and excessive use of agrochemicals, particularly pesticides for vegetable cultivation, has resulted in regular and serious food safety incidents. Food safety has become a real and an urgent issue. Moreover, Vietnamese consumers also perceive food safety as a problem. White and regular media coverage on food safety incidents are fueling consumer insecurity, especially surrounding residues of agrochemicals on vegetables. This drives the desire for safe vegetables. However, food health and risks are not limited to agricultural production. Traditional food vending practices lack proper hygiene and pose serious food safety risks. This brings us to question how can policymakers confront these food safety issues? Authorities in Hanoi stimulate policies that focus on the restriction of traditional food vending channels and the expansion of modern supermarkets. An important motivation is that supermarkets are known to implement private food safety management systems and maintain strict food hygiene standards. The rationale for this retail modernization policy is that if consumers are concerned about food safety, then they will shift to supermarkets because of their private food safety and hygiene standards. Indeed, modern supermarkets offer certification and better hygiene. Besides, consumers are also interested in shopping at supermarkets and tend to trust the safety of fresh foods more at supermarkets. However, supermarket sales of vegetables in Hanoi remain very low and make up less than 5% of total vegetable sales. There appears to be an intention action gap between what people say, to trust food safety certification and to have a preference to shop at supermarkets, and what people actually do, buying uncertified vegetables at wet and street markets. Let's take a closer look at the everyday food shopping practices of consumers in Hanoi to find out why they insist on shopping at the street markets and to understand what causes the apparent misfit of modern supermarkets in everyday life. In contrast to the policy logics, consumer food safety concerns are not driving the vegetable shopping practices. In daily life, people cope with food safety within the well-established daily routines. Urbanites are practically constrained in their daily activities. They appear to be under time constraint, in which grocery shopping is time-consuming, like we see here, shopping without stopping. Or people appear to appreciate shopping as a social activity, with personal encounters, in which shopping is time-passing, walking and talking within the neighborhood. The practical organization of daily life drives the persistence of traditional food shopping practices. Even in the newly developed urban residential areas, street vending appears resilient to modernization. 
top-down and forced retail modernization policies do seem to have limited effectiveness when consumers are not solicited or actively engaged. Policy effectuation in practice leads to unintended effects. The reduction of formal markets drives unhygienic, informal and often illegal street vending. The reliance on private corporations for supermarket development focuses on middle and higher income populations, leaving a large and growing low income group unserved. And the lack of trust in food safety leads to home growing with questionable food safety. The effectuation of food retail policy in everyday life clearly demonstrates the complex interaction between infrastructure and human behavior. The dominant top-down and forced retail modernization policy is leaving the potential of citizen-consumers co-creation untapped. The active involvement of consumers could benefit the development of future-proof food retail structures. Here we see an example of how citizen consumers engage in developing strategies to ensure access to safe and healthy foods within their own neighborhood. Citizen consumers are eagerly involved in food system transformations. This is not limited to small-scale urban farming initiatives, but also the organization of local farmers markets and online community ordering systems, ordering produce directly from farmers in the countryside. Not only consumers are seeking a resolution. In the gap between policy and practice, a new sector is emerging, consisting of small-scale businesses that try to offer an alternative to the undifferentiated offer at the traditional markets and the more exclusive modern supermarket channel. These emerging initiatives are pursuing ways to engage with consumers in developing a relevant food-safe alternative including participatory guarantee systems in which producers, intermediaries, retailers and consumers collaborate. In this video, we demonstrated the relevance and urgency of active consumer involvement in rising to the challenges of future-proof, sustainable and inclusive food system. Consumer co-creation processes appear vital in realizing solutions that fit within the wider daily life routines of citizen consumers.